Many of us have heard or seen the old example of the flashlight in the mirror. And the way it works is this. You take a mirror and you position it where you hold the mirror in front of you, facing the other person. And you shine your flashlight into the mirror with the flashlight sort of facing you. And the mirror will project that light onto the person if you get the mirror positioned just right. And that person could basically see the light in the mirror as if they were looking at the actual source, at the actual flashlight instead of the mirror. But we know that the light is not coming from the mirror any more than the sun's light is coming from the moon. The moon and the mirror in these moments are just reflections, but they are reflections that point us to the true source of the light. Now, there are many sources that are reflective. Uh, take for instance, you can be in a room with all navy blue walls and put a light in there and you may or may not see much reflection. But if you took that same light and put it in a room full of light colored walls, the entire room would light up because there's so much more reflection bouncing off of the walls. What I love and appreciate is this. God has called us to be reflections. He's called us to do the same thing that John the Baptist was doing. God has called us to point people to Jesus. And we'll never be the actual source of the light, but what a privilege it is to be a reflection of the light and get to point people to the Savior of the world. Today, let's be reflections.